You're listening to System of a Down and their song, Lonely Day. System of a Down are four Americans who have sold nearly 20 million CDs. Their lead singer, who you're going to meet in just a moment, is in New York to launch his solo career, but he's here to talk about something very important and something that is going to surprise you. As we welcome you all back to The Early Show, good morning again, everybody. A new debate over an old tragedy. Americans of a certain age, parents of baby boomers mostly, might remember hearing about starving Armenians, what happened to the Armenians in Turkey around the start of World War I. Now a House committee has voted to brand what happened an act of genocide. CBS News Capitol Hill correspondent Chip Reed is here with us in New York with details. Good morning, Chip. Well, good morning, Harry. You know, this debate has been raging for, raging for generations. The question, were Armenians the victims of genocide 92 years ago? Now, some say with all the problems in the world, why should we worry about something that happened so long ago? Well, those who say it was genocide say you can't stop it if you don't admit it. Genocide. From the Holocaust to Bosnia to Darfur, brutal campaigns to systematically exterminate entire ethnic groups. But before any of those, there was Armenia, where as many as one and a half million Armenians were killed by Ottoman Turks in 1915 in what is now Turkey. So there's a tendency to say, well, you know, we, we didn't know. After the Holocaust, you can no longer give that alibi that you didn't know. The documentary Screamers follows the Grammy award-winning band System of a Down as they campaign to raise awareness about genocide. The band's members are all descendants of Armenian grandparents who survived. The recognition of the Armenian genocide by the Turkish government before his death would be the first step in redressing an injustice and I think it would help him go easier if that makes any sense. Turkey insists the killing of Armenians was not genocide, but the result of ethnic violence during World War I. Now, after an emotional debate, a key committee in Congress says by a vote of 27 to 21, yes, it was genocide. 1.5 million Armenians were murdered. 500,000 were removed from their homeland. Passing this resolution will be a victory for human rights. But President Bush opposes the move. This resolution is not the right response to these historic mass killings. Why? Because he's worried that Turkey, a vital ally in the war in Iraq, will be so offended it will limit U.S. access to Turkey's military bases. The rock group documentary is called Screamers because they say it's this generation, the Screamers, who will shine a light on all genocide because the only way to end it, they say, is to admit it when it happens. I think it's important. I think we should all be Screamers. Now, Democratic leaders in the House say the plan is to have the full House vote on the genocide resolution later this year. To soften the blow, they also say they may pass a separate resolution affirming U.S. friendship with Turkey. Chip Reed, thanks so much. And uh, joining us here to talk more about that documentary on genocide is Serge Tankian, lead singer of System of a Down. Thank you very much for taking the time to be with us. Thanks for having me, Harry. Talk to me a little bit about okay. your grandfather, your grandfather miraculously somehow survived this Holocaust in, in Armenia. What was it like to know that, to have that as part of your family history? Well, I mean, you know, since we were kids, he told us about how, you know, they uh, survived in the desert. He, um, him and his family went through the pogroms uh, that the Turkish government had placed, um, taken away from their homes. and. His father and uncles were taken away uh, to labor camps and were never seen after. And um, he survived by uh, going to a number of orphanages. He actually went to an American orphanage in Greece for a little while. And, um, you know, somehow he survived and made it to Lebanon and thrived and had a family and, and was able to, you know, bring us to where we are today. You and all the other members of your band are grandchildren of survivors of That's this horrible thing. Mm -hmm. What is the bond? that holds you together? Um, you know, having to do with the Armenian genocide, it's, it's the knowledge that, you know, we're all, we're all lucky to be here, you know, and, and uh, um, we, we all know what, what our grandparents have gone through. We all know the truth of what it means uh, to feel genocide on your skin. 
Um, I think it makes it easier for us to empathize with other genocide. It makes it easier for us to empathize with other injustice around the world. Uh, I want to play a little portion of the documentary. It was very sweet conversations with, uh, with your grandfather. And people are waking up this morning. They're seeing this in their papers. They're wondering what this controversy is about. And this really is a great way to open the window to, to what actually happened almost 100 years ago. Let's take a look. My father, his father, his brother, all the men that were there, they tied them all in chains. We went closer to see him, and immediately a soldier came with a weapon. Away, away, he said. He didn't let us. I mean, I came forward to kiss my father. He didn't let me. He forbade it. Incredible. It's, it's, there's, here's vivid truth first-person accounts of something right. that did in fact transpire. Mm -hmm. Turkish government absolutely refuses to acknowledge that what happened did in fact happen. Mm -hmm. What is that like living with that? Well, it's a unique case in the sense that there's not that many genocides or holocausts that are still denied today. Even the one happening in Darfur is pretty much out in the open. Um, so it's a very unique case and, and it's, it's very painful. It's a painful uh, victimization process that the Armenian people have gone through uh, for 92 years mm -hmm. since the actual genocide in, in living with that pain. And it, it feels horrible that a democracy um, will not, you know, fess up to its own archives. Some people would say, though, that's 100 years ago. How can that possibly matter? Well, of course it matters. There's genocide happening today. There's um, the history obviously hasn't been learned. You know, uh, we're, we're still allowing things to happen like that around the world and in Darfur. And, you know, um, if we don't learn the uh, uh, lessons of the, uh, the first genocide of the 20th century, how can we tackle this issue? Genocide is a humanitarian problem. Mm. It's a crime against huma humanity. It's not a national issue. It shouldn't right. be treated as such. Serge, thank you so much for being thank with you. us this morning. Really Thanks, appreciate sir. it. All My right. pleasure.